The other day I built an entirely custom apartment building like from scratch and it doesn't actually function like apartments in The Sims. As far as the game's concerned, it's just like a big giant house. You kind of have to do some pretending when playing in it to make yourself feel like it's actually an apartment. But I'm really, really proud of how this building turned out and I kind of want to furnish some of the apartments inside. I'll show you around quickly, but if you want to go watch the speed build of this entire building, I'll link it down below. Basically, we have this little parking lot and when you come inside, there's like kind of a front desk and a mail room area. This gnome is the landlord. His name is Harrison and he's not really the nicest guy. Throughout a lot of my builds, I've been putting gnomes at the front desks, like pretending they work there. I built a spa like this. I built a gym like this. Harrison here has kind of got a real estate empire going on, but the lobby is kind of simple. We have a gym shared across all the units. We've got a laundry room. And then when you go upstairs, this second floor has got two units. So over here, there's a one bedroom apartment. And then this second one on the left has two bedrooms, but one of the rooms is kind of small. Upstairs is the biggest apartment. This one is three bedrooms, so they kind of have the whole floor all to themselves. It's kind of a weird layout though, like the living space is very skinny, which almost makes it kind of fun to try and furnish. I put a little kitchen in here to kind of give an idea of what I imagined it would look like, but- And then on the fourth floor, we've got three apartments. Over here on the far right, there's kind of a small one-bed apartment, but it's got two balconies. This one in the middle here is another small one-bedroom apartment. There's a really tiny kitchen and small living space, but a separate bedroom. And then on the far left, we've got the tiniest apartment, and it's a studio apartment. So there isn't a separate bedroom, but it does have a kind of big kitchen and like a separate bedroom area. I pictured like putting a Murphy bed here or something. So in total, we've got six units to choose from and I'm not entirely sure which one I feel like furnishing right now. I'd kind of like to do all of them at some point. I honestly feel a bit tempted to start off with the studio apartment because I really like the shape of it and it also has a huge balcony. Not as huge as this one that has two balconies, but it does have a kind of decent amount of space. You know what? Let's start here. I'm deciding now, I'm gonna get rid of the whole kitchen because I might redo it. I also painted the whole place yellow because I tried to separate each of the apartments with a color scheme just so that when you download the lot and look at it, it's obvious like, oh, these green rooms are one apartment. These blue rooms are one apartment. So this, you know, yellow room was one apartment. We also have a really, really tiny bathroom, so I might try and make the most out of that space too. Luckily, we don't need to include laundry or any gym equipment because the building has it. I think I'll start with the bedroom though because I kind of designed this entire place with the thought of using a Murphy bed in here. I don't know what the bed looks like when the Murphy bed is down. Do I need to bring a sim here? This place is a little bit expensive. The building is 175,000 simoleons and there's not even any furniture inside. That's okay. I need a test sim. I don't know how easily you could play here without cheats. It at least takes some cheats to like set up the space. It might be nice to have it be kind of expensive though. But oh God, hang on. <laughs> I had to go and make it snowy. One second. Summertime? This is kind of ruining the vibes, I won't lie. Heat wave? Will that melt the snow faster? There we go. Watch it go away. Okay. <laughs> Problem solved. Ooh, okay. I don't love that swatch of the bed. I don't really love any of the swatches of the beds. It's partially because of the wood colors, I think. I don't really like that orangey wood. Maybe this one could be cool because it's got like some orange and purple in it. I don't know if I can scoot this back into the wall very far, but maybe a tiny bit would be nice. <laughs> Obviously also keeping in mind that when this bed is down, you won't be able to go outside, but that's okay. That's kind of the whole point of the Murphy bed is that we're using it because it works in a small space. And when you're not using it, you can put it up. I would like to use a rug, but I'm not really sure about a lot of the colors that we have. Orange and purple is an interesting color scheme. I hate orange. I keep making orange things in videos. I hate orange. I honestly think that orange is my least favorite color like ever. Let's just embrace it though. Why not? Let's get an orange rug. Oh, you know what? Then we could probably try and do this fuzzy rug combo. These are snowy escape rugs. That's a little bit of purple. You know, this is definitely an odd color scheme. I've not really done anything like this before. Maybe for good reason. Give me a chance though, cause I really am gonna try to make it look good. It looks really nice on this dresser, but like the swatches are better. This orange is the kind of orange I don't love. We do have some purple, but I don't know if I can bring myself to use like a full purple wall. I think I'll just paint everything white to start and then we can try and get some accents, like maybe some texture. Is the game trying to call that purple? I would say that's white personally, but sure. Sure. We do have some nice purple tile, but that looks really horrible in this room. I don't know if I can do that. The purple is like so muted on the shelf. Can I do like that darker color on this back wall? And maybe we could go back to just like some plain white tile or something, <laughs> you know, just to be safe. I don't know where the living room's gonna go. I'm not really sure about the layout yet. I feel like this is probably the best place for the kitchen though, like where I had it originally. We do have a purple cabinet. I don't love it. We don't really have orange cabinets. <laughs> Maybe I should just try and use 
like a wood tone. I mean, this is what we had originally. Should I just go back to the original cabinets? I know I deleted them, but like, I did put it there for a reason. Past Simsy did think that it looked good. I guess when we actually furnish the other apartments, we could do a different kitchen so they aren't all the same. But I'll let myself have this one in here. Oh my god, I kind of forgot how expensive these appliances are. That's half the reason the building is so expensive, because I've got ridiculous appliances. There is a trash chute, like, right here in the hallway, so I don't know if we need to have a trash can. That's probably a ridiculous thing to say, and I should just, like, give them a trash can, but <laughs> there is a trash chute right there. Maybe I'll use this little spot for, like, a built-in bookshelf. There's also so many windows in here that I'm not really sure where I should put the TV. We don't have a lot of wall space. Oh no, I think that this purple thing is a bad idea. <laughs> the more I try and place objects, the more I'm like, you know, maybe there's a reason that we- Oh wait! Oh my god, duh, Tiny Living has the perfect couch. Sorry, false alarm, we're good, this couch is perfect. Honestly, there couldn't be anything better. We couldn't get better than that. I'm sorry I'm sitting here acting shocked. Like, of course Tiny Living has got a good couch. It's almost like the stuff in the pack will match each other. Although, although, oftentimes it doesn't. <laughs> so maybe my shock is justified. I kind of like that. I think the color scheme is kind of fun. We definitely need to get some more color in the kitchen, so we'll do that with like decor and stuff, I guess. Now I'm kind of wondering if I should put a table in here. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> maybe it should just be white. But I wonder if we should put a table in here. Maybe I won't do the little side table so there's more walking space. I kind of like the idea of the table though, and there is plenty of space to walk around. There's at least a one tile walking path everywhere. Not over here when the bed is down, but that's fine. Oh, this is so cute. We can use that in the tiny little corner next to the door. It comes in orange. I'm a little bit tempted to use it. Either way, we've got to do something to make these walls more fun. Ooh, what if we use these little hexagon things? as a fake backsplash in the kitchen there. That's kind of fun. This is a wallpaper that came with the high school pack. It's not actually tile. It's just like a patterned wallpaper, but I like the look of it a lot. Oh, wait, this would be so cute. Do you think I can fit that in here somewhere? Maybe if we didn't have cabinets on this side and we just had like, and we just had like the shelf above the sink. I like how that adds some more color and like personality into the kitchen. I really wanted to use these cabinets, but I feel like it's just not like bold enough of a color. There's too much white. So maybe I will go back to these. It's sort of a similar wood tone to like the rest of the wood in here. I am not entirely certain if I like the upper cabinets or not, but I do think I like that a lot better. Actually, that's a serious improvement, like a really serious improvement. And then we can just add a tiny bit of kitchen clutter. I think I'm gonna leave this corner cabinet empty and then put decor on this one. I feel like the fruit bowl is actually perfect for the color scheme in here. I kind of love that. And I almost think I need like a shelf or something right here. You know that bathroom cabinet? Do you think? Oh, that's kind of weird. Or maybe it's not. I've only ever used this in bathrooms before. I've never like put it by a front door. It's got like toilet paper and bathroom products in it, but it does have the purple tissues. And also in a small space like this, it's not unreasonable to like try and get storage anywhere you can fit it. And I like the idea of a cabinet by the door because you could like throw your shoes in there there, set your purse down, stuff like that. And then over here in this nook, I always envisioned putting a desk. I guess these dream home decorator ones kind of have a similar wood tone, so maybe I can use that in there. I like that shelf above it too, because it adds more storage. Should we be a gamer with like an ultra wide monitor? I actually kind of like it and I kind of want to use it. I wonder if we've got any like good purple desk chairs. That one's okay. Oh, does this one come in? Uh, I don't know if I love that, but you know what? Somehow that chair actually kind of matches the the other stuff that we're doing. So maybe I will use that. And then we've got to add in like a bunch of clutter and any other cute things that we can fit. I really do like this bookshelf, but I think it's floating. Yeah, cool. Okay, <laughs> we'll have to lower it down one. That's got a cool color scheme to it at least. Oh, you know what? Some of this wall decor, maybe some of these kit items would be better than that little tiny thing. Like this object with the mail and the keys makes way more sense. I think I like that a lot. I also love the bags, but I can't tell if that's too much. Maybe the bags could go on the wall. We don't really have a closet, so we could always hang them up like over here in the bedroom area. I was about to put a thermostat here, and then I realized that if I put one there, it would adjust the temperature for the entire building all at once, and I don't really want that, so I'm just gonna have the one downstairs be the only one. And maybe we can fit like a big full-length mirror over here in the bedroom. I really do like that giant mirror, and I think that's realistic. And then this little shelf can have like some makeup storage and some decor on it. I really do like that dog plant. Can I put it there? Oh my god, that fits perfectly right there. I'll 
I'll use that. And then like a smaller plant on this one maybe. There's a lot of plants, but that's okay. It's a nice touch. You know what, saying that, I bet a couple hanging plants could be kind of a nice touch. Cause then we still have floor space for walking, but we can get some decor. I'm trying to decide what to put in these display cabinets. Cause we have the cabinet underneath there and I can slot something into it. I almost want to put like one of the boxes or something from Dream Home Decorator or like this stack of the two boxes. I just feel like it's nice to have as much storage as possible everywhere in this apartment. So we got to take advantage of little places like that for it. I'm also trying to decide about wall art. Some of these have some really cool swatches. Like that could be really nice with the purple and the orange. Maybe I'll use the same one in the living space. Oh my God, I spent exactly all of the money. <laughs> we have zero simoleons left. Again, it's not a budget apartment, but what a weird thing. I spent exactly enough to use all of it up. I don't think I want to put any curtains because I kind of like it being so bright and open. We do have to figure out something in the bathrooms. There is like an orange tile. <laughs> I don't know if it's too much or not, but if I'm being honest, I actually kind of like it. I know it's a little bit weird. The door doesn't really match that well either, but maybe we can still try. I'm really hoping that when we finish all of the apartments, they're going to be really obviously different. So I don't want to just use like some plain white tile because that's going to match this apartment too well. Oh, there is a sink from Tiny Living and it's got some purple on it. I wish this mirror was like slightly lower. I don't really understand why they hung it up so high. I'd use this one, but I think this might be a little bit too wide. Although it's probably fine to have like a slightly too big mirror. If anything, it's a little bit more practical, so it's okay. Okay, I will say this tile is a little bit much. <laughs> I wish it didn't have this part at the top. If it was just like the tile at the bottom, I would like it, but I'm kind of feeling like it's a little dramatic for the space. Also, is it silly of me to put like clothes on the floor? I think that they can still get around. Give her a second. She's got to walk up four flights of stairs to get up here, but I'll have her test it. Come on, you can do it all the way up. <laughs> yeah, I think she can still get in there just fine. Oh, she put the bed down. Can you use the toilet? Yeah. Can you shower? I think the bed looks okay in here. Oh, I don't think she can get to the shower. Is it because of my clothes? If I scoot them, can you get to the shower? No. If I scoot them even further, can you get to the shower? No. <laughs> okay. Let me just get rid of it. It was worth a shot, but it's not practical. Okay. We also have this really cute item from Tiny Living. I think I would like to use this in here, but I think I have to change the tile. I don't know. Is it too much? I think it's not too much in the context of the whole space, but I really don't like the trim at the top. Maybe I'll let it sit there for a second and come back to it. I'll furnish the patio first. I'm kind of feeling like this sim is pretty into plants, so I might give them a few planter boxes over here, and then maybe I'll fill them in myself with little plants and kind of pretend that they're growing them or something. I think that's kind of a nice touch. Then maybe we could get a little patio table. Ooh. I like this plant. There's no free wall space. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I can't put it in here. I want to use a patio table, but I'd like for us to kind of continue the color scheme out here. Oh, those chairs are so cute. Okay, so we can do that. Little candle on the table, maybe. I'm trying to decide what I think this Sim's hobbies are. Maybe they're interested in like painting or something so we could get an easel. It's probably not very smart to store your canvases outside. Like that's maybe a bad idea. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't do that. We could potentially fit the little patio table over there and then maybe get like some sort of lounge chair or something on this side. I don't really, um, <laughs> I don't really love this. Maybe I can't use that. I've never successfully used the Nifty Knitting couch. I keep trying. I really, really want to like it, but there's something about the chevron patterns that I, I just can't get over. Okay, how about this? We could maybe use this little couch because it's got some orange on it and we can put it next to these little plants. There's not a lot of purple out here. I'm kind of trying to be wary of going overboard because I know I have a tendency to do that. Like when I pick a color scheme, I really, really go for the color scheme. Oh, how about these little plants in the corner? Because we can get those over there and that kind of continues the plants. And then maybe we could just call it with the balcony and not add too much else to it because we've got like some planter boxes. We have a table. Honestly, the whole apartment could probably be done. I quite like how this turned out. I think we managed to fit a lot of useful stuff into a very small space and I like how we still have kind of a separate bedroom, even though it's a studio. Let me know if you think I should make videos furnishing more of these apartments because I had a lot of fun doing this and I kind of want to try this three bedroom one next. And if you want to go back and watch that full speed build of me making this entire shell of the building, I can link that down below for you. You know, I think maybe this person owns this orange car down here. I, uh, I think they might like orange a little bit. Just a thought. But anyway, I'm going to call it here. Thank you for watching. Have the best rest of your day and I'm going to catch you all tomorrow. Okay. Bye everybody. You know, if you don't like EA's apartments, why not just make our own? They might not function right, and it takes a lot of pretending, but it is fun.